Hi everyone, I'm Izzy Nobri and this is English Challenge, a YouTube show where I teach you a little bit about the English language, one expression at a time. And today's expression is long story short. Traduzindo literalmente long story short significa apenas história longa curta, o que parece um estranho paradoxo. O que a expressão realmente significa é resumindo a história. A expressão é geralmente colocada entre uma longa explicação de alguma coisa que aconteceu e a conclusão daquela história. Vamos aos exemplos. I would love to go to World Cup, but I didn't plan ahead, I didn't save money, I didn't get vacation time at work. Long story short, I'm gonna have to watch the games here on TV. Um outro exemplo. Você descobre que um amigo seu não está mais namorando a garota que ele estava namorando. Uma resposta que ele poderia dar seria We're both really busy with work and we've been fighting a lot, so long story short, we're not dating anymore. Entenderam mais ou menos como funciona a expressão? Long story short. Uma forma de resumir uma história longa. I realize today's video is a little bit on the late side. I try to put videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's really past midnight in Brazil right now, so this video is technically going on Thursday. It's just I've been having a lot of issues with my internet connection. It took me hours to finally get everything sorted out. Long story short, that's why this video is late. It won't happen again. So this is all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. There's videos here almost every day. And I'll see you guys next time. Eu sou o patrão do Izzy Nobre. 